story of Andor that they did in the series was kind of like it almost went either back too far or there were some bits that kind of went on a bit too long that you go how relevant was it i don't know i just found i found it a little slow um and so that's why i'm hoping season two will be better because i say i like the character of cassie and andor in rogue one and i really you know it's nice to get the backstory but i kind of wonder if they went a bit too deep on the backstory i don't know that's kind of my feeling on it You're trying to finish Rebels before Ashoka arrives? Yeah, that's definitely needed. You who have died and been reborn, stand before me now. I'm you hoping at some point we get to past. see Thrawn, stand like, properly. Me now. You who have demonstrated power and wisdom to my followers, look upon the master of the Order of Maybe Rebels. we'll see Thrawn in Ashoka. Are you too afraid to show your face? Silence! This is the end of your initiation and the beginning of your true journey. You will walk the path of Revan forevermore. The enemies of the Order will force you to move in shadows. But we shall keep your secrets safe, as you shall keep ours. The time for subterfuge. Have you is watched over. The Bad Batch as well, oh, Babaganesh? Because Bad Batch is actually quite good. I quite enjoyed that. How do I know this isn't another disguise? I have placed my trust in you. Place yours in me. I apologize for the deception, and for not meeting you sooner. But you must know how badly the Dark Council wants me dead. The Order of Revan threatens everything the Dark Council prizes. Mm. Why did you found the Order in the first place? I stumbled upon the mysteries of Revan on Korriban. When I Your brain safe, can only handle that many Star Wars series at the same time. <laughs> bad Batch is quite... I do recommend Revan a Bad Batch. That's quite good. After being reborn. Some believe Revan died at the hands of our Emperor. I believe otherwise. I believe Revan overthrew the Emperor and has sat secretly on the throne for three centuries. Aside from our order, only the Dark Council knows the truth. Okay. You really think Revan replaced the Emperor? Okay, yeah, definitely I recommend. Do. Definitely recommend. The only way the puzzle After you've done, finished your Rebels, check out the Bad the Batch. Citadel. If you like decades, Rebels and stuff, has been in I think Bad Batch was well the Dark done. Council no longer speaks with him. The only explanation is this. The Dark Council betrayed their leader and locked Emperor Revan away, seizing power for themselves. They seek to silence us because we know. Okay. We have to do something. We shouldn't let them get away with this. We won't. It will take many years to free the Emperor, however. And first, I need your help on a different matter. My agents tell me that you met with a Sith named Sandor, a man who seeks to destroy the Revanites. End his threat. Go to Sandor and tell him that you met the Revanite leader. Tell him that the leader is his own master, Darth Charnas. Hmm... Why would he believe me? I obtained this Sith amulet from Charnas. Give it to Sandor. He'll believe you stole it from his master while among the Revanites. They will turn against each other. When this is done, though, when you've spoken to Sandor, you cannot return here. Okay. If that is your will, Master, then I obey. Sandor must never suspect your true allegiance. You must walk the path of Revan on your own. The path to power. The path neither Jedi nor Sith. May the Force be with you. May it make you strong. Wow. Big focus on Revan. At this point. Alright, let's go back to the Sandor dude. Let's finish off this People mission. We must be we must be nearly done on Droman Cast now. We must be nearly done on here. We've got to return to Sandor. That completes the Revanite piece. Then we go back to Keeper. 
can't think there's there's maybe like one more quest chain or mi sorry mission chain or something on this how are we doing we're streaming now nearly five hours it would be nice to make it to level 15. destination before we wrap up for the evening ah the subtle silent agent I am sorry you had to see Sith so weak as the Revanites. Tell me now, did you find what we need? Did you see the face of the leader? We are on the dark side, guys. It's, it's, you know, there's only one choice. I met her. She's a Sith Lord. Dark-skinned, with black hair and tattoos. I know her. I know her, yes! Tari Darkspanner. My master knows her. We will use her. The Dark Council will strip her of her power, her mind, and her life. Mm, I understand, Show Mercy. She deserves yeah, worse. Come on. And and I, of course, Kaleo loves it when you say Likely stuff like true, that. But I'm sure the punishment will suffice. I promised you a reward in the name of Darth Charnas. Better be a good so reward. You it. You have served the Pay Empire me, well. dude. Thanks to you, we have the means to obliterate we gear. the society. We're a bit, we feel a bit underpowered at the, the moment. The name of Revan will be spoken on Drummond Cast no more. Okay, very well. That should wrap things up? Of course. Leave me now. It is time to put Darth Charnas's plans into action. Yeah, he gave me gear and he gave me a helmet, no less, and an XP booster. I will take XP boosters. I will take XP boosters. Uh, and the helmet. We don't even have a helmet yet, so... Uh, this is rating 38, so this is going straight on. So we're going to gain another 146 armor straight off the bat with 10 mastery, 12 endurance, 6 power, 5 alacrity. There you go, look at that. And as a helmet for an Imperial Sniper, I'm alright with that. It's not fully enclosed. If it was fully enclosed, I might not show it, but actually, not bad. Not bad, actually. I will take that one. Right, let's head back to Keeper. Ready for departure. Going back to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters. See what Keeper has to say. Maybe I should play the game dressed as a snowtrooper behind. That armor behind is uh, is my full. Uh, um, Empire Strikes Back uh, Snowtrooper. Fully approved by uh, the 501st Garrison. So we have everything. We have the uh, the boots and we have the uh, the Empire Strikes Back version of the uh, E-11 blaster. Nice to have it in the background. I'm, I just want to finish off my uh, general veers. I have the full uniform. I need the boots, the gloves, I need some code cylinders, uh, and then and that will be general veers when he's in his um, uniform aboard the Star Destroyer. And then I just need to pick up the helmet and breastplate to add to it, which will be general veers when he's in the Attack Walker commanding the attack on uh, the rebel base on planet Hoth. And that's that'll be my next one to complete. They were halfway to level 15. That's really good. I'll be pleased if we can get to level 15 within the uh, in the first session. That'd be nice. Uh, five hours into it, and you know we're not rushing it at all. We're, we're in fact we're completely the opposite of rushing it. We're we're enjoying the experience Watcher and three. the story. I need that link up to the Dominator. If Lord Jadis wishes to observe, and the crappy aim. Accommodate him. Establishing Hololink, sir. What Data can I say? Is <laughs> what can I, I say? Found the time to pay us a visit, agent. Take your place. The briefing starts now. Though, to be fair, if you go back and watch Empire Strikes Back and you watch the Battle on Hoth, you'll notice that actually the snowtroopers are successful 
in taking the rebel base, underground assault, and uh, significantly wipe out a lot of the rebels and uh, and in the base itself. So uh, I would say the snow troopers do way better than your average stormtrooper. So you know that whole you know stormtroopers can't hit anything. Well, on Hoth, the snow troopers did. Um. Take your place. Briefing starts now, of course. Uh, yes, sir. Lord David, and are you receiving our transmission? They were shooting at the Keeper. Millennium Falcon. They actually hit the Millennium Falcon. You they just can't penetrate it. attempting to determine the dissident's plan of attack. Thanks to recent operations, we have the information we need. Unfortunately, the news is worse than we expected. A major strike is imminent. The dissidents are targeting the ancient power conduits that run beneath the capital. Okay. Their intention is to overload the power grid, causing a cascade failure that would detonate the power relay stations. The resulting explosions would kill hundreds of people, and the blackout would leave us vulnerable to further attacks. Sir, aren't all access points to the power grid under military control? All but one. The terrorists intend to access the power conduits through the Dark Temple. I'll sum up for those of you unfamiliar with the history. The Dark Temple predates Drummond Kass's colonization. It was sealed by the Sith during the city's construction. When the Dark Council opened it some months back, they found it inhabited by force-driven phenomena. Workers on site began disappearing inside, controlled by unknown entities. Okay. But whereas we saw the Dark Temple as a threat to be contained, the dissidents saw it as an opportunity. The temple rests directly above a key power junction. If the dissidents can push past the, um, phenomena, they can access the grid. These dissidents have been planning. They have supplies, maps, and weapons, and they're not counting on making it out alive. This is a suicide run. Okay. What's the likelihood they'll even make it to their goal? What's I think this is the last question on German cast. At least one dissident reaching the target. We have security footage of dissidents heading toward the Dark Temple. A full squad of operatives will pursue the... No. My lord? There will be no squad. The Dark Temple is sacred ground and will not be unduly disturbed. My agent will go alone. Hmm. Are you sure about this? My lord, I strongly urge you to reconsider. If the dissidents succeed, we... So, you're going to send a squad on a suicide mission, now you're going to send just me. Well, I appreciate that. One agent will suffice. My role here is finished. Do as I will, Keeper. Very well. Don't underestimate me. Then the Don't underestimate me. You will go to the Dark Temple, stop the radicals from reaching the conduits and detonating their charges. Uh, wish things were different. Who wants to live forever? Who wants to live forever? There you go. There's no mission like a suicide mission. <laughs> if you don't make it back, appropriate arrangements will be made. We'll monitor you as long as we can, but the temple blocks most transmissions. So just, um, good luck, Agent. <laughs> if you don't make it back, the appropriate arrangements will be made. Well, thank you very much. If I survive, you're buying the drinks. It's a deal. Go on, Agent. The Dark Temple is waiting. Right. So I'm going to have to do this to get to level 15. So this should be the last one Rise on Droman Cass, which will get me to level 15, which will then also um, complete Droman Cass, hopefully, and that should wrap up our session for today. So, we've got to find disable the detonator charges, right? Okay. We've got a mail, let's pick that up. Follow up on Carol's Javis. Uh, we got 55 credits for that. Fantastic. I do like the fact they do send you mails um, at different points in the game which are Ready relating to budget. quests that you already completed. Enjoy your stay. 
How are we doing on our conquest points? Uh, what was it? It was in mission log. Conquest. Holy moly, we're up to 82,000. Eighty-two thousand. So we're not far off completing uh, a conquest thing. Look at that. Wow. Well, definitely tomorrow we'll complete it, and that'll get us some gear. It'll get us a class mission XP boost. It'll get us um, such of companion gifts. 25k credit certificate, that's great. And 25k credit certificate, that one credit certificate is more money than I have in total that I've earned so far. Nice. We've arrived. And off we go. There's a cool looking speed of this one, look. Our temple ground. We're actually very close to getting level 15 now, which will be good because I'll take any help I can get in terms of. I'm gonna need to potentially set these guys off. Yes. It's okay, we made it. Got a long way to go to the doorway, so. It's uh, pretty clear of bad guys around here. It tells me there's probably some people have already come through and cleared a lot of them. It looks like I spoke too soon. <laughs> Now there's plenty of bad guys. I managed to sneak through there though. Let's try not to set off those deranged apprentices. Straight up the middle. Okay, next entry, the Dark Temple. Here we go. There's the doorway. Big old place. to the end. finished. No bonus for killing those, so we'll keep going. Interesting, look at that at the end, it's pretty cool. I mean again, you know, when you look at around, attention to detail, fantastic little crack in the roof there. I mean it's cool, it's, it's really well done. You know, and this game's free. Let's not forget, guys, this game, you can play it. You can play the class story missions completely for free. Awesome. Good. Good. Right, 
Let's keep going. Like I say, any anyone that has an even remote interest in Star Wars needs to have played this game. And like I say, it's flipping free to do it. Doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any better than that. You know, to have a game of this quality completely for free and it be Star Wars IP, I mean, hello, what a deal. Level 15. Nice. And I just noticed we got abilities. What abilities did we now get? Right. Lay's target. Increases the critical hit chance for your next ambush by 100%. This ability has two charges. Okay, let's keep that where it is. Ambush. Fires a high-powered shot that deals a lot. Ambush ignores 20%. Target's armor. And it's got 1.9 cast. That should be. That's better than that one. That's better than snipe by a long way. Adrenaline probe. Summons a droid that helps you recover energy over three seconds. Okay, that's. That's like a, a boost. A uh, heroic moment, that's definitely... In fact, that's coming over here as well, because that's a boost. That's a med pack. Med pack can go over here, because it's like a, a helping one. So, lays the target. Hmm. Might do it that way around. And then snipe. Like, why would you ever use Snipe? Uses more energy, same range, less damage, doesn't ignore armor, slightly slower cast. Okay. We'll have a look at that. Uh, where's the next bomb? There it is. the last one's up here. Let's have a look to see how this goes. So if we use the laze target and then we go ambush. Yeah. Ah, now I know why, because it's got a slow um, chance of reloading. That's why, because it takes so long for it to become available again. Charge done. Go to the primary conduit node. You, are you with the military? I heard the shots, but I wasn't sure. I can't believe you actually followed us in here. None of us are going to make it back out, you know that, right? Mm. I know you're one of the terrorists. Tell me what's happened. <laughs> I'm one of the terrorists, all right. Like everyone you kill. That's why we decided to make a stand. To terrorize. I'm the last one. A dozen of us came into the temple and the rest are dead. Or gone. Same with you, I guess. Hmm, what were you hoping for? You should have for? known you couldn't pull this off. And what did you mean to accomplish? To show the Empire what it means to fight for freedom. And we still will. You can shoot me now. You can save the power grid, preserve the Imperial lifestyle for a little longer. But there are other cells. They'll keep fighting. Okay, and let's just kill him. Time's up. You're dead. You'll never make it out of here, Imperial. Really? 
You underestimate me. Return to Keeper. Yeah, he completely underestimates my chances. Sound like Moff Tarkin. I think you overestimate their chances. No, nope, can't can't use that yet. Mm -mm. Somebody else in here. Liam Valorus, Valorus the Vicious. Here, Pluto's Lob. Yeah, I can't pronounce that last one. But it's busy. 100 and, 100 and what, nine people still in Droman Cast? And that's been like that all evening. There was like nearly 100 people in Hutter, and there's. I've been over a hundred people in Droman Cars all evening. These use all products Which I only think as intended. It's pretty impressive. Right, that is a thousand health. That's a thousand, so we'll keep those. Like so. That can be sold. So can that and that and that and that and that. That's a gift for Calio. That's a gift for Kelly. Okay. Be well. So let's give that. I can't believe I've got so many gifts that are just no good for Kelly. Oh, Still can't mount. I need to get just outside. I need to get outside the door to mount. There we go. There's our personal tax thing. Look how many people coming in here. And another one. Hey, this. Either they're there as a group or this is just busy, busy, busy. Lots of people leveling characters. It certainly doesn't seem like it's difficult to get a group, I can tell you that. Taxi. Speed us back to intelligence headquarters. Yeah, getting to level 15, that was great. That was great. It's a nice place to sort of wrap up the evening reaching level 15. So hopefully finishing Drome and Cass as well. And that also means we've got the combat style, so I forgot that, right? So Sniper's Nest is a passive. Increases regeneration rate by one per second while in cover. That's great. Uh, so you've got... Oh, so you get ambush. Oh, so you get both those abilities. You get laser target and ambush as part of that. And then this is where you start to get to. So 23 is the next big milestone. Okay. Destination. What happened in there? I heard screams coming from the temple. Probably just the wind. Probably. See, it's much faster. <laughs> Is 
See, look at that guy and his little personal transport. Whipped past him. And here we are. Ah, it looks just how I remember it. Okay, where are you, Keeper? You're over there? Okay, good. We've got wreckage coming down over the city. From that height and at that velocity, the collateral damage alone could cost millions. If the reactor core was breached, the radiation damage will... I don't care about the radiation damage, damn it. Get me security footage, communications logs, something we can use. Shouldn't someone be celebrating our successful return? All military channels are reporting in. The Dominator has been completely destroyed. Mm, okay. Someone want to tell me what the Dominator is? It's good to see you. There was a secondary target. Apparently... Watcher 2, I still need confirmation. And you, Agent, get ready to move. We need everyone operational. Sorry, sir, but there were over 3,000 people on that ship. Half of them civilians. I'm aware of that. Do your job, Watcher 2. Run the numbers. Lockdown procedures are in place. All traffic has been grounded. Initial analysis is done. Cross-checking with the droids. Getting conflicting reports from the Car City spaceport. Trying to sort it out. Nothing could have survived that explosion. All sources confirm casualties are 100%. Then Darth Jadis is dead. Who did this? What happened? There was an explosion aboard the Dominator. We're not sure about the origin, but it has to be connected to the dissidents. Darth Jadis was leaving on a special tour of the Empire. He brought military personnel, civilians, and Sith to his flagship as part of some grand vision. Now they're all dead. Okay. How are we responding? Standard planetary security procedures. No one goes anywhere until we say so. Sir, we've got a starship trying to take off. Several dissidents from the watch list are aboard. Military squads are moving to intervene. They'll blow the ship to pieces. I want the terrorists alive and I want their computer intact. You fix her. Do we have any Sec-M units available? What? I don't... The Sec-Ms, the most droids. Find one and bring it back now. Whatever ordeal you went through in the Dark Temple, your recovery will have to wait. I need you in the field. I'm ready to go, sir. One moment. Fix her. I have the droid here. Good. Agent, I need you to get to the city cargo port. There's a terrorist ship attempting to take off. Take the mouse droid and deliver it into one of the ship's maintenance conduits. With the droid aboard, we can disable the hyperdrive and download its computer contents. Let me stow away. I'll handle the terrorists personally. No. I appreciate the sentiment, but it's too risky. We do this my way. Get going. We need you to plant that mouse droid. Any conduit on the ship's outer hull should do. Okay. And when you're back, we have things to discuss. Rise and shine. So I'm going to do this because I do want to try. I think I'm pretty sure we're very close to wrapping up uh, Droman Cast, so I do want to try and finish the planet. So let's do that. Ready for departure. Where are we going? 
Why don't we go into the spaceport? No, we're going to the cargo port. Okay. Enjoy your stay. I thought the cargo port was in the spaceport, but clearly it's in the town. Ten terrorists as well. And there's two. Two down. Oh. Rubbish. Interrupted my target base. That was a shame. That would have been a nice hit. And another one. Mercenaries down. How many do we need? We need ten, right? That's the cargo. Let's take these guys out. Good, they're down. Pick up that. Bonus mission. Let's get the mouse droid aboard. I love these little things. Turn to keep up. That was a fairly simple mission. Kill ten terrorists and plant a mouse droid. He got love. Let's go. We've got to be close to wrapping this planet up now, I'm sure of it. Ah, 
I'm sure of it. Yes, boom. Welcome back, Agent. Excellent work out there. Absolutely excellent. The mouse droid has just sent the contents of the ship's computer, sir. I'll send the military to pick up the dissidents. At least one thing's gone smoothly today. The worst seems to have passed, but don't expect to rest any time soon. Do we know any more about the attack? We're fairly certain the explosion came from inside the Dominator. In all likelihood, one of the civilians on board was the bomber. Keeper, I'm receiving a transmission. Someone's broadcasting a holo recording to the entire Imperial Communications Network. The terrorists want to talk. I'd say we should listen. Patching it through now, I'm going to try to pinpoint the source. Citizens of the Empire, this is the Eagle. I'm here to tell you that our government is corrupt. When the Emperor signed his treaty with the Galactic Republic, we were promised a new epoch. Glory unrivaled since the first Sith dynasty. Instead, our Empire has suffered. Apathetic moths and wicked lords of the Dark Council vie for power, while our soldiers die over worthless planets in nameless star systems. Typical consolidationist rhetoric. Watcher 2, keep trying to find a source for the broadcast. Everyone else, start pulling up our files on the Eagle. You've heard of him before? We've been hearing rumors about the Eagle for years, but we never thought he could pull off anything this big. Another mistake. Anyone who speaks out in favor of reform is kidnapped and tortured by Imperial intelligence. This must not continue. The Ministry of Logistics reports that they can't jam the signal. Everyone in the Empire is seeing this. A short while ago, a group of defiant revolutionaries destroyed an Imperial Dreadnought. 3,000 people were aboard, including Darth Jadis, a Lord of the Dark Council. We chose to strike at Darth Jadis publicly so that every Imperial citizen would know the truth. The Dark Council is not invulnerable. We can affect change. We regret the sacrifice of so many civilians, but it was necessary. The Empire cannot cover up this momentous event. Imperial intelligence cannot silence our call to arms. Get to the point, you piece of filth. What is it you really want to say? What do you mean? Here, here it comes. This is only the first step towards a better future. We have agents throughout the Empire preparing to strike again and again. We will not relent until our government chooses strength over weakness. Unity over discord. We will continue to show the anger of the people. This is the Eagle. End transmission. Wow, okay. So, our enemy has a name. You think you can deal with that, Agent? It won't be a problem, sir. Glad to hear it. We've made mistakes today. We underestimated the Eagle. We were too slow to eliminate the dissidents. We assumed the Dark Temple was the sole terrorist target. But you performed above and beyond expectations. You showed you can handle these people, and now you're going to show us the way forward. Sir, I don't understand. What are you suggesting? You are going to head our operation to dismantle the Eagle's network. You will locate and eliminate his terror cells through infiltration, manipulation, and assassination. Cool. I'm assigning you a rank and designation as suits your new position. You no longer have a name. You will answer only to Cypher 9. Why Cypher? Cypher agents are faceless. They go wherever needed, become whoever is necessary to get the job done. Congratulations, Cypher 9. You earned this. Cypher 9, huh? Cute. But I think I'll keep calling you Agent. 
With the rank come certain privileges, including a degree of operational independence. You may recruit your own operatives, and you will be outfitted with a starship. Or cool. two, you will remain Cypher 9's liaison to base. I assume that won't be a problem. No problem, sir. Glad to stay a part of this operation. Good. Begin analyzing all reports on recent dissident activity. I want a list of possible terror cell locations within the hour. The Eagle says he's got agents around the galaxy. Assuming he's telling the truth, you're going to be doing some traveling. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. I thought you might. Your starship is at the spaceport. It's been refit and removed from public record. Watcher 2 will upload likely activity centers for the Eagle and his network. Proceed to your targets as you see fit. We'll have our revenge. The terrorists will pay for everything that's happened. Be careful of these people, Cypher. Destroying the Dominator was no mean feat. Killing Darth Jadis was nearly unthinkable. But this is our job. Do whatever is required. And good luck. Cool. Nice, we get a new weapon as well. Another XP booster. Great. Uh, the weapon's not, unfortunately, better than what we already have. Which is a shame. Use the ship's holo terminal, right? So we gotta get to the spaceport. We've also got mail, which we need to get as well. Cool, and uh, do we get a new designation? Uh, Cypher Agent. There we go. Cypher 9. Males, just pick those up. Samara, that's 125 credits. That's the Samara one, and Sandor, that's the Revenite one. 163. I have to say, it's cool having these followers. They don't give you a lot of credits, though. Ready for departure. Right, so we need to go to the ship's holo terminal. So we need to go to the spaceport. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, I mean, you think, like, 163 credits, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Heroic area. And we're nearly here. So we're going to get to have a look at our ship. It's going to be cool. That is going to be very cool. Around the corner. So you've got the four, there's four ship hangers in here which represents each of the four classes. What a cipher agent there as well. Imperial agent hanger.
looks pretty cool, I have to say. That looks like a cool ship. Very stealthy, sneaky looking. Some good sized guns on it as well. Here we go, let's have a look at it in action. That is my starship, ladies and gentlemen. Very cool. I can live with that. Okay. VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. A gift from my superior. Here to keep an eye on me, I presume. My only directive is your satisfaction, master. Uh, besides, my photoreceptors are not surveillance grade. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard the X-70B Phantom, an experimental prototype resembling a luxury shuttle that conceals the combat capabilities of a heavy starfighter. Cool. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Mm, I'm ready I for have departure. I mission to complete. Time to see what this ship can do. Goodness, you aren't deactivating me. I mean, good luck. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Okay, great. All right, well, there we are. And uh, that is going to bring us to the end of the stream, guys. So five hours and 39 minutes, and we were able to uh, get to level 15. In fact, we're just a smidge, a smidge away from level 16. Um we created the character and we spent quite a bit of time creating the character we've gone through the story we've enjoyed it we haven't sped through it but we have completed hutter uh, the starter planet we have completed Droman cast we've been promoted to become a cipher agent and we're now on the trail of the terrorists that have assassinated a, a dark council member darth jadis and also uh, destroyed the starship he was on, killing 3,000 people, including 1,500 civilians. So that's where we've got to. We'll see where we're going to head next. We're going to stop right here. We're not going to use the ship's holo terminal. That will be it. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching um, me leveling this um, Imperial Agent Sniper uh, on the dark side path. And uh, we will be continuing this in a future stream. The VODs, as I said, will be uh, broken up into sort of uh, one hour or so episodes and will be available on YouTube, obviously, as well as the entire VOD on Twitch as normal. As I say, thank you for watching. You've been watching The Ghost Owl, and I'll see you back tomorrow night for some more Star Wars The Old Republic. Have a good evening.